kids know when somebody loves them. They know when somebody cares about them. The fact that you're present with them tells them a whole lot because 99.9% of the adults in that church are not present with them. So just your presence with them communicates in some way. It's not going to fix them. If they haven't been loved in their family, you're not going to walk in and fix that. But you are going to give them the memory. See, here's what I think youth ministry is about. Youth ministry is about creating memories in kids. And when you do that, you ruin their lives. <laughs> See, I think Jesus ruins our lives. And when we take kids down to Mexico, they, you know, you kids have been to Mexico. You come back the last night of campfire, what are you doing? <laughs> Sell everything. I don't want anything anymore. I don't want a BMW. I want to get rid of all my clothes. Everything's right. And two days later, you're back to being selfish again. <laughs> Except that you'll never be quite as selfish as you were because you will always live in the shadow of the memory of those kids that you saw down there that had absolutely nothing and yet were happy. And you know what? 20 years, oh gosh, almost 50 years after I grew up in this little Presbyterian church and I had this woman that taught us in Sunday school. Her name was Mrs. Lindsay. She was 300 pounds, wore the same dress every Sunday and taught junior church for 50 years. And I've never forgotten her. It was the beginning of my understanding that there's somebody out there besides my mom and dad who loved me and cared about me deeply.